So, in other news, part two of Upgrade Pass, I was up the Dark Wash Buckler. Now, regular Wash Buckler, I use a different path. I use a sword path with him. Uh, it's hard to say which path is the best. I do love the bubble pad, but the sword does way more damage on this pad. I can't really pick. And for the leg pad, I chose uh, the poison cloud or whatever you want to call it. So let me check real quick. Wish it was light core, man. It would have been nice. Okay. So the top, I chose the sword. Popping bubbles with sword attack will create a bubble shield that reduce damage and explode when attacked. Okay. Sword attack do even more damage than trusty first made a pirate could have. I don't know which to choose, but the bottom pat, I choose the Ink Trail Pat. But the Soul Gem's good. Yeah, I get both Soul Gems. I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. But for legs, for legs for sure, it would be the Sea Leg Pat, the one on top. And for the top, I would still go with the Gun Pat. The Double Bubbles and the Gun Pat. That's what I would choose. That's what I did with my dark wash buckler. I do like that soul gem when you just spin and kill everybody. So, I did all these. I did the hoot loop, pop fizz, and uh, star strike. Shoot for the stars. Light cold. Star Strike Pat I chose. Oh yeah, I love that thing where wherever you shoot with Star Strike, there's one that comes back. But this move you have to spin and it comes back and spin again and it comes back and you spin again, it's bigger and bigger, and it does way bigger damage and attacks, but you have to think of spinning back, see? Deflection master. Uh, I'm almost gonna get it. Oh, I gotta get to 20. Oh, then I get a star. You have to do it 20 times. I think I got it, almost. Anyways. So like I showed you, just keep spinning and you get a star for this if you do it 20 times. Anyways, I'm not gonna do it now. I'll do it later. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, oh man. All right, anyways. So for the upgrades, that's what you get. Magical spin, you call on a star. I picked, I didn't pick the starlight. Uh, I picked the, the bottom one with the, the Atom Splitter Pat. So, I chose that. Superstar. Press X to shoot a star projectile. Press B when in close to deflecting. Deflecting four times make it grow larger and do more damage. That's what I was explaining right there. So, it's a good move. I like it. It's kind of tricky, but it does a lot of damage while you're playing. And when you do the last upgrade of her... Are you wow. ready to achieve physical perfection to rival my own? She looks very nice with that uh, all over glow. See? So that was Star Strike real quick. So choose the bottom path with her. If you want. The one I was really surprised about. I gotta do this now. Light Core, Smolder Dash. Man, was she a surprise. At first you started to play with her, she was like, oh, okay. But when you finish her, oh man, is she great. So then you get regular combos, right? 
get the regular fireball. You pull the fireball, you can hold it, and you shoot it, then you cut it in three, and you hit it with your whip, which is pretty cool. But then, you get an extra. When you press Y, to get super fun, then you go do super fast combos, and then you make a dark hole that does way more damage instead of the sun, and then you split it with the whip again. And the other move you can do, you hold X, and she comes back down with the sun, which is pretty awesome. You hold X, you let it go, and that's it. Very so, bright. Smaller dash, I chose the super giant solar flare and sun splitter path, which I love. I didn't use solar blast or sunny armor or sun core, and I still don't have the soul gem that I have to go do. I wish I could show you guys. Perform the powerful, sm powerful smarter dash when you press the Y while in eclipse mode. I wonder what it looks like, but I'll do it later. I just wanted to show you guys how amazing she is. Now the other surprise, which I really like, is Eruptor Series 3, quite amazing. I don't have to say much, I'm just gonna show you the Lava Bar, sorry, Lava Bar Eruptor. Magic, look at that. You just spit the balls, hold Y. See, the more fireballs you spit, and you hold Y, he sucks it back in, and he's just like a volcano. Amazing. You got the regular attacks, like always, but the volcano, it doesn't last as long as the first one, but it's still good. So, all the upgrades, because you guys asked for it, that's all the upgrades you get. Regular stuff. I didn't use the bottom, the, the top pat, bottom pat, volcanic, quick eruption. See, mega magna balls shoot up to three balls like the old one, but the new soul gem power, new wow pow, amazing. Press Y to release magna balls and then hold Y to eat them and immediately barf them back for extra damage. He's quite amazing. I'm happy for that. That's the Series 3 that I love the most. Priceless. Boom. What else? What else? What else? I gotta do my undead part. Mmm. The one undead that I love the most. Gotta be Rattle Shake. And with the pad I chose, Sneak my day. you have to try it. When you get the, you see the soul gem at the end, his skin turns purple. Look good. It's quite amazing. And it looks way nicer than the yellow version that you see. Well, I like the purple one. So, upgrades. On the top, we got the gun, we got the deputy snake. I didn't choose the deputy snake path, but if I get this other version of rattle shake, I will try it. I chose. Snake bite, spring loaded snake poison. The first enemy it hits, dealing damage over time. Yeah, you get to poison them. It's pretty awesome. Enemy poison by spring loaded snake. Take more damage from snake venom. I just took the gun pat. Maybe I should have. I don't know. Maybe I should reset him and do the other pat. Nasty surprises. Radius of deputy snake damage are increased. Because the deputy snake actually does a lot of damage. Deputy Snake causes an acid explosion that damages enemies where it lands. Pretty awesome. And that's the skin. Get the new skin. Get the new which increases critical hit and absorbs damage. Absorbing damage causes the skin to shed then grow back after a short time. Okay, and for the bottom part, that's the part I like. Probably my favorite legs. You gotta see this. You got... You got this path that I think is suck because you just jump down and do a smash attack and and you spring and dash. But I chose this, the Goliath Bone Snake, all right? Hold B to supercharge stampede, release to summon a giant bone snake from the ground. And believe me, he's giant. 
and that's just the skin again. I'm just gonna show it off real fast. No fan. Right, so Deputy Snake, you press Y, he comes out and he shoots for uh, probably 20 seconds or like that. But he does a lot of damage. Then you got the gun, you can hold the gun, shoot it. But the best part, like I told you, for the legs, you hold, you can just press B and you shoot all those skeletons, uh, snake heads. But hold it, and you can see he drops little undead skeleton and just you let go and look at that that does so much damage it's amazing that's why i love him so much so i'm gonna finish with the undead i'm gonna do a part three video again because i still have blast zone and free ranger and pop thorn and zulu and bubble blast to do so real quick i'm gonna do roller brawl I want to do slobber tooth, but slobber tooth, man, honestly, nothing special there. Save your money. That's what I'm just saying. Okay. So this girl, she can dash. While you dash, you press Y, she drops bombs. That's pretty awesome. You get the combo attack. You get to hold Y and run around too. And you have this shield. Or just press Y real quick. And she throws wheels again. Did I forget anything? Oh yeah, that's cool too. You hold B, you charge it, and then she goes like this and you just cut everybody in your path. Pretty awesome. Let's Press B real quick, you just dash. Why? There's a couple of moves. She's quite fast and a lot of combos. I like Check her. Check me out. So, as of upgrades, like I said, I chose the bottom path. Press Y while dashing to leave behind the trap that damages nearby enemies. New claws increase roller brawl's critical hit chance. Hold Y to create saw that spins around roller brawl. Press B while dashing to headbutt an enemy. I forgot about that one. Headbutt an enemy and create a curse link. Touch enemies with the link to damage them. Yeah, I forgot that. Time for a jam session. Headbutt. I forgot. Too many figurines. So little time. Okay, so last one I'm gonna do in this video. And yeah. Legendary. Real people. Like cool. Like the guys. So him, it's pretty much basic combo. You press X, attack. Why you hold it, you get to have this nice defense attack that's pretty pretty effective. Any any bad guys you just go over and you spin that thing and they die almost instantly. It's quite effective. Time to cut and run. And you have that V thing that I don't really like. It feels like you're playing with Ghost Roaster, but it's not. And I didn't upgrade that because I creep. thought it was just a crappy move. So, I did the top path with him, and that's it, guys. Critical hit is increase. Concentrate ghost particles make it easier to do more damage to enemies. All attacks do increase damage for a short time after enemies are hit by the living armor. That's the thing. At the end, the... Uh, Soul Jam, I don't get. A ghost ally appears from defeated enemies that will seek out and attack other nearby enemies. I haven't seen him that much, but this guy can do so many combos, you can't concentrate on the screen, and he's pretty good. So that was my part two of pack upgrades, of which I chose. And we're gonna do a part three after this. And I pretty much got everything covered, and the new figurines are coming out tomorrow, I hope, or Friday. So stay tuned, guys.